Hi, in this video we'll learn about the button module. Now, as we can see, the SunFounder button V2 is a very simple button module. We can use it to detect a press on it and then perform a certain event. Buttons are found in every live application and it's extremely useful in any application you'll do. The button is an input device, means when we click the button, an input is triggered and sends signal to our microcontroller to perform an action. We can do multiple things, such as one press, double press, or press and hold, which can be recognizable on the software part. Now, if we look closely, our button has three pins. One is signal, second one is three volt, and the third one is G and D. Now, let's take a look how we can connect the button to our microcontroller. For the button pin, as we saw previously, we have three pins. One is signal pin, one is 3V pin, which is 3V pin, and one is GND. Now, in order to connect the button, we will need to use all the three pins. Now, because we use the Arduino on the device, it's very simple. First, we'll take the signal pin and we will connect it to digital. Now, we have digital pins from 0 to 13. We can choose any one we want and it should work perfectly fine. For this example, we will use pin 8, which is right here in the interception between this interface and this interface. Now, the second, the second wire will be the red wire, which is the VCC. For this, we will connect it to 3.3 volt, which is right here. Make sure you connect it to the right one. It's fairly easy to make mistake. It's right here, like that. Now, for the GND, we have multiple pins. We can just to connect, connect it to the one easiest for us the most, just like this. So now we have the button connected properly. We have the signal pin here, we have the GNT pin here, and we have the VCC pin here. Now it's time to move to the program and see how we can program and get it to work. Now, once the Arduino device is ready, let's take a look at our code to understand more how does it work. First, we define the button pin as pin 8, and then we define the button state as 0 by default. Now, in the setup loop, we will initialize the serial connection with 9600 baud rate. And then we will initialize the push button pin as input, because, as we discussed earlier, the button is an input device, not an output. Now, in the main program, in the loop, we will get the button state by using the digital read command and initializing it with the button pin. Now, we will check if the state is low, which means it's pressed. Hi, it means it was released. Now, if button state equals to low, we will print to the screen that the button was pressed. That way we will know that the button was pressed. Now, we have our serial monitor right here running and we have a live screen camera from our Arduino device right here. Let's upload the code using the upload button right here. We can see the status that the, it's done uploading. And now let's press the button and see what kind of result are we getting. Once the button is pressed, we will get button pressed feedback. We can clear the screen, the output and try again. And that's how we control a button. As we've seen previously, the button has three pins. One is signal, one is 3.3 volt and one is GND. Now in order to connect the button, it's fairly easy as it's a digital output input pin. Sorry. Now, for the wires, we can see the yellow one is the signal, red one is the VCC, and black one is GND. For the yellow one, we'll go right here, connect it to GPIO number 13, which will be fairly easy to use. Now, for the GND, we can connect it right here, for the GND, and for the VCC, we can connect it to 3.3 volt, as stated on the sensor. Now, if you look closely, we have everything connected perfectly fine. We have the button here, we have the Raspberry Pi here. Now, let's go into our software and see how we can get this button to work. Hi, and welcome back into our IDE. As you can see, we have the button right here connected. We've connected it to GPIO pin 13, to VCC and GND, directly to our Raspberry Pi. Now, we already prepared a code in advance, which we call button.py. Now, let's modify it to see what's inside. As you can see in the button, it's very similar to switch, but actually it's a little bit different and we will explain the differences. First, we create a function 
call button call back which will be called every time the button is pushed and the only thing it does it will print button was pushed now we set up the gpio as gpio bcm because that's the mode we're using and we set up the pin as pin 13 because that's the pin we've connected our button to gpio in because it's input the button gives us input we don't give the button output and pull up down pull down means every time we pull the button down it will be triggered then we have the add event to detect detect the event of the actual press and do something which we call the function button callback now with gpr 13 gpio falling callback button callback falling means every time the button is pressed it will be called we can have both of them but we've decided falling and not rising or both then finally we ask for input over here to quit the software and if input given any button or enter we will clean up the gpio now let's see how it works and if we can run and operate the button let's do python 3 button.py great so we have the button right here let's press it button was pushed press again button was pushed we can see that once we release the button it doesn't print anything just as expected button was pushed and no matter how, how fast or how many times we press it it will print properly that the button was pushed i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new see you next time